My name is Artic. I am 56 years old. I went to prison in 2000. I was there 21 years and six months. I was like the first person to ever be an actual chaplain that was a prisoner, and I went to Grand Paris Detention Center. I did a third unintentional <laughs> sort of kind of missionary journey, and where I was released from was Elaine Hunt Correctional Center. Um, pages were still, you know, the end thing then. Cell phones, you get it, I guess in 2000, you just start getting to the, the point that um, they didn't have unlimited minutes then, you know, it was very expensive. I remember a cell phone was, for the top minutes, was a couple hundred dollars a month. Um, video games, I think AOL, Yahoo, there was, those were the, like the major search engines then. So um, I, electronics were just kind of getting big, you know. So in my era, um, the, the car for people that were really young, you know, in the 20s and stuff like that, were I say hood cars were like box Chevys, you know, drop tops. Some of the cars that when I was around, people are calling classics now. So that's, you know, that's different. I'd say my late night thing, it was rerun by Archie Bunker. I loved Archie Bunker, very, very hilarious. And then I think The Sopranos had just started right around that time. So that was pretty good, you know. One of the things that was that was different because this is right after COVID. So everything's impersonal, you know. Um, I guess this has been the biggest thing about living life because everything that I did, you don't have to go to a lot of per places in person if you don't want to, is you can do everything from the phone. Um, somebody told me that it'd be weird. You just don't walk up to people and start talking to them. You know, I grew up in the era when you like a girl, hey, how you doing? So they said, people start thinking you weird. They'll post your name, post your picture. This weird guy came and started talking to me. So um, that was kind of intimidating, not knowing how to interact with people. I talked to a lot of people that's been formerly incarcerated, people that have been out a long time and people that have been out a short time. And the, the one thing is, is that no matter what trial or what's going on in your life, you always say, man, this is bad, but at least I ain't in prison, you know? So there is nothing out here kind of dealing with life and on its terms. And that's one of the things is being it up to adjust and to adapt to to every situation that you encounter. My ideas and how I see things is has not is not fully in 2020, 2022. How I see things many times is still in the 2000s and in the 90s. So what it has happened is, is that I've had to kind of grow. I've been like, like I said, with my nephew, I'm really like a little child and I've accepted that. Like, I, there's a lot of things I don't know about this new world that I live in. And I've had to have people hold my hand and walk me through a lot of things. So um, I, I, I try to tell them thank you each and every day for all the obstacles of they could never know how much that it's meant to me of having them there. I guess being young, one thing that you think is you have lots of time and most of my thinking and my reaction to everything was based on on my personal pain rather than the circle rather than overcoming that and dealing with life on its terms. And it, I would tell myself is is hey, don't sweat the small stuff that you still got a long, long ways to go. You know, that's that's probably what I would tell that guy, you know. And this, and another thing that I tell him is, is that you have to listen to even the people that you don't think mean you any good, that you can get some good out of some of the things that they're, that they're telling you, is to listen more.